Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about P53 signaling. P53 is also called TP53, and T is for tumor, P for protein. When a DNA of a cell gets damaged, proteins like ATM and ATR sense the damage and activate other proteins check two. And a cell also constantly make P53, but another protein called MDM2 also constantly get rid of P53. So the amount of P53 is not going to accumulate in a cell. But when check 2 is activated, check 2 is going to phosphorylate P53. And this P53 is now going to be MDM2 resistant. And this MDM2 is not going to be able to stop this phosphorylated P53 from working. So this is a way of activating P53. And now P53 activated can do one of the two things, depending on the severity of this DNA damage. If the DNA damage is small, possible to repair, then P53 is going to activate another protein called P21. P21 is a protein that can bind to CDK cycling complex. So here is the cycling and here is the CDK. And as you recall, the CDK cycling complex is going to make sure that cell cycle move forward well. But when P21 gets activated, P21 is going to bind to this CDK cycling complex and uh, inactivate it. And because of this, the cell is going to stop dividing and wait for the repair or maybe no repair and die later. Okay, now if the damage is big, and hard to repair, then P53 is going to activate other proteins. One of them is called BAX and the other one is called uh, PUMA. And PUMA stands for P53 upregulated modulator of apoptosis. BAX will go to mitochondrial membrane and dissolve the membrane. And because of this, the things in mitochondria leak out. And one of those things is cytochrome C. And cytochrome C's normal job within the mitochondria is to work in the metabolic process. But when it comes out of the mitochondria and into the cytosol, it's going to do its nighttime job and recruit another protein to bind to called APAF, apoptosis protease activating factor. And this bound cytochrome C and APAF is going to change configuration. And now this complex is going to recruit many procaspase. So here is the cytochrome C APF complex, and here are the procaspases. And this bound complex will now cut these procaspases to make them into caspases. So procaspases become caspase. And what do caspases do? They go out and start chewing other proteins, including other procaspases. And when caspase chews a procaspase, another caspase is made, and this chain event is going to result in many, many, many caspases, and these caspases will just start chewing up DNA, RNA, membrane, and everything within the cell, eventually leading to apoptosis. And this whole process is also regulated by PUMA. Overall, Bax PUMA activation leads to apoptosis. So in summary, DNA damage, ATR, ATM, sense the damage, and activate check 2. Check 2 will prevent MDM's degradation of P53. Because P53 is made constantly, there is going to be a lot of P53 being activated by this check 2. And depending on the damage size, P53 can either stop the cell cycle using P21 blocking the CDK cycling or apoptosis by activating Bax, permeabilizing the mitochondrial membrane, Cytochrome C comes out, make this dangerous complex, recruit a lot of procaspase and turn them into caspase and chew up the cell. And P53 is the most frequently mutated gene in cancer. Almost all cancers have P53 mutation. And there's another player that I want to talk about, which is BCL2, B cell lymphoma 2. And uh, BCL2 and Bax are from the same family. But they do opposite things. Bax here, as you can see, is causing apoptosis, but BCL2 does not want to cause apoptosis. The way the BCL2 works is that it actually goes and blocks the 
backs protein from working. So even if there is a signal, the activated BCL2 can halt that signal. And lastly, there's another way of leading to apoptosis. That's when cytokines activate tumor necrosis factor receptor. Cytokines from environment or other cells can bind to these receptors, and these receptors can trigger the caspase from leaking out of the mitochondrial membrane and lead to the same big domino effect of caspase chewing up other procaspase, making more caspase and chewing even more things within the cell. So a cell can get to apoptosis in many ways, and here are two ways from P53 with a big DNA damage or tumor necrosis factor receptor sensing a lot of the cytokine signal and pushing the cell to go through apoptosis.